All right, everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, we are actually going to be building a low tunnel today. I'm going to show you guys step by step what we're going to be doing, how it's all working, uh, really, really simply how to put these up and how to take them down. Uh, this is a great method, low tunnels, of extending your season, whether in the spring or in the fall. Uh, you could also beef these up and have them act as some sort of winter protection. But in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how this is so simple. So what I've done prior to this, prior to starting the video, is that I've got myself some uh, half inch by one foot long rebar. We drove that rebar into the ground, almost an entire foot, and then I slid over half inch PVC over top of the half inch rebar. It's a really snug fit and it goes in really nicely and it creates these hoops. I've spaced the hoops about five feet apart. Uh, you can go closer and make this a bit stronger if you wanted to in terms of uh, the water and snow that you guys might be seeing. Then over top we laid our plastic and uh, we've anchored it down on both ends. We've weighed it down, we've stretched it out. Uh, the next final step is really where all this comes together and it makes everything kind of make some sense and uh, makes this thing a lot more sturdy than what it is. So I've got myself a couple lines here and we're gonna make, out of this paracord here, we're gonna be making some slip knots. And it's pretty simple for those of you guys never done a slip knot, I suggest that you guys look it up because it's such an incredible knot to know. And we're gonna make two slip knots out of this uh, very, I don't know, about a foot long rope foot long paracord and then we're going to basically attach this slip knot to the bottom here of the PVC and the reason that the way the way that I'm going to do that is I actually have myself a drill I have two different drill bits here we're going to drill into the uh, the PVC and then insert this bolt it's a half inch bolt you can also if you wanted to go even longer and have yourself a nut on the other end and this bolts going to go in here we're going to attach our slip knot around the bolt and then we're going to have a very a longer rope that's going to go across this side go through the other end which also has a slip knot and a bolt and then we're going to bring it back and tie this up with another slip knot and this is going to be depressed this is going to really weigh this down so that if any of the air comes up from underneath this paracord is keeping everything down all right guys so we're coming in here and drilling we're pre-drilling a hole and actually we're going to use two different bits and then we're gonna finally insert our bolt. So. Second bit. Nice and easy. No cracking in the PVC. And then we're going to take our bolt and we're going to spin this around and get it in there nice and snug. And then I'm going to take my slip knot and I'm going to put this around the bolt. I can tighten this if I want just a little bit because what we need to do is actually get our, our longer piece of string. We're going to throw this on the other end. We're gonna put this through the slip knot in between the slip knot and the bolt. Give ourselves some extra room here. And then we're gonna come in and tighten this slip knot. And then we're gonna basically bring this around the other side, do the same thing on the other side with the slip knot and the bolt. Bring this line back around and I'm gonna do another slip knot on this end. And that's gonna create the tension that we want. All right, so I'm doing my last slip knot here this thing nice and tight slide this over the bolt get ourselves our other end this goes again right through the slip knot over to the other side we can tighten this up And then we're going to tighten our slip knot as tight as we can get it. 
All right guys, so the last thing left to do is actually to do a slip knot. And the reason why I would like, I like these slip knots is that, I'll show you in a minute, but we can really easily tighten this or loosen this um, at our will, making this structure uh, really easy to deal with. So you can see here, all I have to do is either tighten this or loosen it just by pulling this up and down. We can uh, change the, uh, the amount of tension that we want on either side. And the last thing to do is just to put this plastic down. So let's do that now. So it really is this simple as just coming in here and putting the plastic down on the ends. And this slides over real nice and snug. You can see there's a nice depression here, which is making uh, this thing real nice and tight and not gonna blow anywhere. Uh, and if you're really not convinced at this point that it's gonna blow away or maybe you wanna make this more airtight, not a problem. All we have to do is get ourselves maybe something heavy like a cinder block, a sandbag, and we can also make this a bit tighter and uh, just a better structure overall. So yeah, I wanna thank you guys here for watching this one. Again, super simple, right? Do the same thing, the whole process of taking this down, making this very easy to set up, very easy to take down. The benefits are incredible and it's really not all that expensive. So I wanna thank you guys before this helicopter comes in and ruins my ending. But I wanna thank you guys here for watching this one. Check us out on Fig Boss, Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe and we'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Take care.